The Bible says it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do. To will means the will, the want to. I don't even want to pray, but God puts that will in me. So you have to understand, even if you feel like praying, it ain't you. It's God in you saying, talk to me. You know, if you feel like praising God, it's not you. It's God saying, I want praise. Anything that pleases God that you have the will to do, it's him doing it in you. So my focus is the spirit, the spirit. And you, well, how do I teach my children to worship? They that worship must worship in spirit and in truth. Everything is by his spirit. So we got to go back to the teaching of the day of Pentecost, the Holy Ghost. But that's where after the Holy Ghost has come, then you'll have power to do all these things. You can't teach them methods and you know what I mean? You can't. You got to be led of the spirit. If Moses would have followed a method, if Moses would have followed a method, y'all follow me. Here they are at a body of water. The last time I saw a body of water, according to the method before, Noah built an ark. He would have tried to build the ark if he would have followed a method. But thank God he heard the spirit. You ain't got to build an ark. Just take a piece of wood and stretch it over that. So you understand, don't follow methods. Don't give them. I mean, it's good to give them scriptures, but be led of the spirit and he'll. You can't go wrong. That's why it says, in all your ways, acknowledge me and I'll direct your path. So any answer they give me, I say you know, be governed by this, be governed by the spirit. And it's not a popular answer. It's kind of like, how do you not do this? Oh man, pray. Pray. Yes. I mean, for real, it sounds old school and traditional, but that's actually a principle and a, and a foundational thing that will not ever be moved. So I encourage all the youth and youth leaders and everybody be led of the spirit, get the spirit, be filled with the spirit, man.